नमस्ते आई जेपीएल डॉक्टर पाइचंद्र कला असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर ज्योति विद्यापीठ वुमेन्स यूनिवर्सिटी जयपुर टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस फ्रॉम द सब्जेक्ट बायो सेफ्टी एंड आईपीआर सो इन टुडे सेशन वी विल डिस्कस अबाउट द इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ गुड लेबोरेटरी प्रैक्टिसेस ओके सो when you say it is like good laboratory practices or doing our experiment so we have to maintain certain decorum while practicing our laboratory activity so good laboratory practices is a set of principles that provides a framework within which laboratory studies are planned performed monitored and achieved and reported okay so why was it is created actually in early 70s fda become aware of the case of poor laboratory practices of all over the us these discovered a lot of fraud activities along with poor lab facilities so example of some of these poor lab facilities were found at uh, in uh, correct or in educate systems of work was going on so the jail good laboratory practice is to satisfy certify that every step of the analysis is valid or not ensure the quality and integrity of the data submitted to the fda in support of the safety of the regulation regulated product good laboratory practices have a plenty of emphasis on the data recording of the specimen retention so when it is comes about the good laboratory practice principles the test facility of the organi organization and the personal quality assurance program facilities apparatus material reagents test system test and reference substances standard operation procedure sops performance of the study reporting the study and storage and retention of the record material so testing facility and the personal uh, uh, study of the personal responsibility should should have the knowledge of glp principle access to the study plan and appropriate sops so compliance with the instruction of the sops record and record of the raw data and study of the person a person's responsibility for the quantity of their data exercise health precautions to minimize the risk ensure the integrity of the study quality assurance programs and their responsibility here to access the study plan and sops so three type of inspection we can have here by the as per the principle study based inspection facility based inspection and process based inspection inspection of the final report for the accurate and full description okay so facilities have like uh, suitable size construction and location adequate degree of separation of the different activities isolation of test system and individual project pro project to pro protect of the biological biological hazards or the health hazard associated with the biological organism suitable rooms for the diagnostic treatment or the control of the disease storage rooms where the uh, harmful or hazardous organisms can be placed or how the precautions are being taken here the apparatus of appropriate designs are not documented in uh, cleaning documentation is proper not calibration is proper or not and apparatus and material not to interfere with the test system okay so here test system so physical chemical test system biological test system then record of the source and arrival of the data arrival of the conditions of the system proper identification of the test system in their container and when removed containing containing and sanitization of the container sorry so here the cleaning 
how much uh, cleanliness is maintained within the laboratory condition so pest control uh, agents to be documented receipt handling when it comes to the test and reference item receipt handling sampling and storage has to be documented so characterization uh, known the stability of the test and reference items sample for the analytic purpose for each batch so procedure or sops has to be written in the laboratory programs so how to carry out protocol uh, specific activity and uh, what most often written in the chronological list of action steps so they are to be written to explain how the procedure are supposed to um, system has to be work okay so sop is routine inspection cleaning maintenance of the calibration action to be taken in response to the equipment failure record keeping support storage mixing and retrieving the data so definition of raw material analytical methods are being used so next when we see the performance of the study the preparation of the study plan content of the study plan identification of the study record of the studies data and reference to the methods they have taken care conduct of the study so report has report of the study result can be informative on sponsor and test facility experimental starting and completion date quality assurance program statement storage etc so when we see storage and retention of the record materials they can be inspected date of the master schedule sops and maintain the calibration date also okay so what good laboratory must contain must should be free of smoke smell dust etc proper lighting ventilation and illumination should be there proper air condition and humidity should be there sufficient space for the working testing proper arrangement of the testing and establishment of the proper storage facility okay keeping the things in a uh, keeping the thing in its location for after use storage of heavy things on the bottom and if it is possible give name to the location to everything okay putting ladder for uh, each and every stored on the top so give uh, so it gives a better image for any uh, institute organization or company when they are providing a good quality producer in the market as well as it's uh, like opportunity for them uh, like uh, providing a good lab maintenance so good laboratory maintenance it's a guidelines for the better control for maintaining and of the instrument environment controlled environment and preservation of the test record okay thank you this session is powered by digital version 2.0 jyoti vidya peet women's university hope you have you are satisfied with my digital session if you have any queries or doubt please mention in the comment box i will resolve it thank you namaste